Well, hello friends, Russ Barkley back again with another commentary on ADHD. I wanted to get this out to you right away. I didn't even change clothes. I'm heading off to the gym to do my exercising, but I came across this article and wanted to alert you to it as soon as possible because I know how important this topic is to many viewers, particularly females with ADHD. On January 8th over at Scientific American, an article appeared by Kelso Harper and Tanya Lewis describing a conference presentation by my friend and colleague, Michelle Martel, concerning the effects of fluctuating female hormones across the menstrual cycle on ADHD symptoms and other cognitive factors. So this article is um, not published yet. It is the one in Scientific American has published, excuse me. The conference presentation is being written up and submitted to a journal. I have no doubt that it will get published given what looks to be rather rigorous methodology. So here's what they found. And by the way, I have put the links in the description if you want to read this for yourself. So what they found is that Martel and colleagues tracked 97 college students, females, with ADHD and measured their female hormones on a daily basis. And they report in their conference presentation that the participants reported much worse symptoms, such as inattention and impulsivity, just before and at the start of their period, and to a lesser extent around ovulation. This also aligned with changes they detected on cognitive tasks related to ADHD and executive functioning. The authors of the article quote Dora Winchank, a researcher and psychiatrist in Holland, who also studies this topic in ADHD females. Uh, and after interviewing her, they reported that Dora stated that as with many of her colleagues, these results square with what they have heard from their patients. The patients, they quote, say things like, something happens to me in the week before my period where all hell breaks loose, Wen Shank says about one of her clients. A couple of days into my period, I look back and I don't recognize myself. And this comes back every month. Now, Dr. Martell, who did the study reported at the conference, believes that this is a result of changes in estradiol, the most powerful form of estrogen. Estrogen is the most famous of the female sex hormones, but it also drives activity in the brain and aids with attention, memory, and mood stabilization. Also, this hormone helps your body produce and maintain levels of dopamine, an important brain signaling chemical that plays a role in ADHD. So I just wanted to call this to your attention because, as you know, back in December of 2003, a little over a year ago, I discussed a review paper by Martell and her colleagues published over in the journal Hormones and Behavior. See the description for the citation and its link. And this review talks about not only the likelihood that female hormones and their changes across the monthly cycle are affecting ADHD symptom severity, but it also speculates that these changes as they occur across the lifespan, including into perimenopause and menopause, can result in significant adverse effects on ADHD symptoms. So uh, again, you can have a look at that review if you like. It's a very thorough review paper, but what it mentions is there was very little research as of a year ago about this topic other than a paper that Martel had done as well as a few other earlier reports. But now we have yet another study, not yet published, showing that fluctuations in female hormones can adversely affect ADHD across the monthly menstrual cycle. So I hope you have a look at the Scientific American article if you want to read more about the Martell presentation, and then go back and have a look at this very important review paper about female hormones and ADHD. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this breaking news update on my channel. And stay tuned for more reports later in the week, as well as my 
Saturday Research Roundup. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and be well.